Hey guys, it's Captain Jerwa bringing you another narrated Pokemon Showdown battle, but this time I have a team preview. So anyway, my team, I've got the kind of offensive core of Sock and Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime's a nasty plot sec, Sock is choice banded, and choice banded Sock is just so powerful with its close combat. It's pretty fast too, and Mr. Mime is also decently fast. And it's got pretty good, well, it's got decent natural special defense, and when it gets up a nasty plot, it can really hit hard, and I kind of just wanted to use Mr. Mime, because Mr. Mime, same with Luxray, it was kind of the last thing I put in my team, I needed a physical thing, and I thought an electric type would work well, so I just threw on a scarfed Luxray with Intimidate, and Blossom is my special wall, and... Most people underestimate Blossom, but it's actually got really, really nice special defense, and it can annoy the opponent with Sleep Powder and Leech Seed. And Misdreavus is physically defensive with Will-O-Wisp and Heal Bell, I believe, just in case Blossom gets toxic, and it has great typing for NU because it's immune to ground and fighting at normal. And Pyloswan is my just good old offensive Stealth Rocker Setter Upper, and it has Ice Shard and Roar, and Roar is really good because I suspected that his Ninjesque was Baton Pass, but actually turns out to be Choice Banded, and Roar is really good to prevent people who try to lead off with that thing, and also on his team he has a Leopard, which is really annoying with its Prankster, Swaggering, and Foul Playing, and if Blossom dies, Basculin could be annoying. But other than that, nothing is too bad because I have priority to take care of the Swoobat. And Pyloswan can basically take on the rest of his team. So anyway, let's just get right into this battle. Okay, so I'm just going to lead off with my Pyloswan as always, just to set up Stealth Rocks in case he had a Baton Bass Ninjax. But I believe to be Choice Bandit, I believe. And Pyloswan just takes that U-turn so well. And I go into Blossom to Wells Basculin, but... Turns out he is a life orbed, which I thought meant that I was in trouble, but I am able to take that. And there, I should have just gone straight for the Giga Drain because my luck with Sleep Powder is absolutely atrocious, but fortunately, I do have Luxray. And Luxray has the interesting niche of having Intimidate because that allows me to take that life orb hit really well, and I'm able to take him out. And here, oh, he scarfed also, so he outspeeds me. So I just go into Blossom again, knowing I can take that Shadow Ball really well, which I do. But here, I make the mistake of going for Sleep Powder again, when I should have just uh, used Moonlight, because I missed twice in a row, and he can take me out. So now, my dedicated special wall is gone which is not going to be good when facing this Gardevoir, but fortunately he just leaves it in on my Pyloswine, which is absolutely amazing because that thing's out of the way now, and not wanting to take a burn because I thought he had the Lava Plume. Uh, I switch out into Mysterious because Pyloswine actually has Thick Fat, so it can actually take, it could have taken that fire move really well, but I didn't want to get burned. But his Leopard, it turns out here, it has Thunder Wave, which I can't, which means I can't let my Sock or my Mr. Mime take that. But I am able to get the burn off on it, which really makes this thing that less threatening. And I switch out into my Mystery Vis, predicting the foul play, knowing I can take this. And I just decide because I, I just wanted a safe switch in essence, so I just leave it in to die. I couldn't, even if I didn't get fully paralyzed, I couldn't have done anything anyway. But I go into Sock here and. I just really, really hate Leopard, so I just take the paralysis and get off the Stone Edge, per just wanting to kill him. And since I do have Sturdy intact still, it's not too bad. But he is able to get the little Paraflinch combination on me, which is mean. That that is mean. Does mean I am gonna go down. And here, I thought the Shadow Ball would be a two-hit KO even after the plus two, just because Swoobat is really not that bulky. 
but I think this is before I put Life Orb on, so that unfortunately is not the case, but I do have the Priority Ice move, which is absolutely amazing, and now at this point, Pyloswan is just going to be able to take out the rest of his guys, because it is just such a beast. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Let me know what you think of the team preview and my team, but otherwise, if you want more videos, you can subscribe, and otherwise, I'm out of here.